Welcome back. How are you? I hope you're doing well. Thank you for being here. I'm glad you are. If you're new to the channel, my name is Dr. Facundo Gonzalez. I'm an emergency physician here in New York and I make all kinds of video. So you should subscribe and I'll give you a second to do that. Perfect. And you can also like the video if you liked it. Only if you liked it. Don't like it just for me. I just want to know I'm doing honest content that people like. Thank you so much. So, what prompted the making of this video is the AstraZeneca vaccine that maybe you do know or you don't know. You know, it's undergoing phase three trials in the United States and also recently in places like Canada and Germany. It has been discontinuing the younger population. So I'll put those pictures here with the age of where it was restricted. The other reason for making this video is that not even a day ago, one of the leaders of the vaccine regulation center in the EU, Marco Cavalleri, stated that there is a clear link between clots and the vaccine, specifically the brain clots. Okay, so I'll talk more about that on the third part of this video. I hope you like it. Let me know any comments below. And now let's get to the video. So number one, I wanted to cover just quickly about the vaccine, how it works, what is it? Well, it was developed by Oxford University in conjunction with a company called Basitech. Basically, it is a weakened adenovirus. So what they do, they insert the mRNA protein that causes the spike protein in coronavirus into that weakened adenovirus. You get injected with it. Once it's inside the body, it will reproduce this spike protein and then get recognized by the immune system as foreign and it will create antibodies against it. So that in the future, if you were to contract uh, COVID, the body will recognize that spike protein and attack it. So that's how it works. Uh, now move on to phase three trials in the United States. Basically, they include more than 35,000 participants across US, Chile, and Peru. And so far, what they have shown is some safety for sure and efficacy. I have the numbers here, which I will read for you. So it has been shown to prevent symptomatic COVID. That means you can get COVID, but it will prevent symptomatic COVID in 79% of people. It will prevent 100% of severe symptoms in COVID. And it will prevent COVID in patients older than 65 years old about 80% of the time. So those are good, good results. However, while looking through the research and online, Dr. Fauci, infectious disease doctor, he says that we may not need the vaccine AstraZeneca since we have already enough contracts with other companies and other vaccines. So enough for the whole United States population. So I just want to throw that out there. So now move on to the clots. I'm glad you made it this far. Uh, I'm trying to make this video short and concise. If you're new to the channel, subscribe because basically this is what I try to do. I give you all the information I can, short and concise. And I also make like video blogs that I think are very interesting. Okay? So clots. Since the vaccine AstraZeneca has been out and approved in over 50 countries, there have been 269 reports of clots. Not brain clots, just clots in general. So after 20 million doses dosages doses you know i don't know what happened there have been 269 cases and there is an entire medical society european medicine society that gets together it's an agency and they've been getting ongoing meetings like march 18 march 29th march 31st and they have proved so far that there's no direct correlation between the vaccine and the clots. This is a meeting where hematologists, oncologists, pulmonologists, they all get together and discuss the data, even autopsies. However, now one of the heads of the regulation vaccine agency, Marco Cavalleri, 
said that there seems to be a clear link at least in the younger population of brain clots due to vaccine. However, they are stating that the benefits outweigh the risk, meaning if a million people get the vaccine, only 13 of them will develop some sort of clot. And even out of those 13, there is a small percentage that will be brain clots or serious type of clots. So the benefits of having the vaccine, preventing COVID and all the things that come with COVID are higher than the risk of the cerebral clots in a very few patients. So that's what that means pretty much. And you know, it's up to you to make your decisions, but that's what they recommend. And I agree with that recommendation just because in medicine, a lot of things are weighted of risk versus benefits. Many things in, in emergency medicine specifically and in medicine are like that. Okay, and you always get informed consent. You're gonna educate your patient, the people, and let them know the pros and cons, and they, at the end of the day, decide, all right? Perfect. So now, a little fun fact section that I'll put at the end of this video is other statistics. Let's say a million people, smokers, 100,000 of them will get lung cancer. That's better odds than the vaccine. And if you take a million people, Two of them will be hit by a lightning bolt, struck by a lightning bolt. So, two versus 13 in the vaccination group. So these are just fun facts and it's always a risk of anything in life, okay? So, if you like the video, subscribe, you know, the bell, I don't know where they are, but you know, there's gonna be like, subscribe, bell. Let me know what do you think in the comments below. If you like this video, please share it. Thank you so much for watching. Adios.